I am 57 years old and uh, I had a heart attack last October so I'm on blood thinners and uh, I was never all that good of a Thai boxer but I loved it and uh, I'm a good pad holder I'm a good coach but uh, man I got some bad habits especially now things have crept in but uh this is the first time I've sparred since my heart attack. And there's a lot going on here that uh, isn't apparent besides my bad habits. One thing that's going on here is there's a lot of trust because I can't take hard head contact with the blood thinners I'm on. So playing with Tyson is a matter of deep trust. I mean, I've been teaching this young man since he was 15. And I know he could roll over me like a steamroller at any minute if he wanted to. But he is so gentle with me because he wants me to be able to do this. He knows how much I love it. For him to put himself out there and, you know, maybe risk hurting me, maybe risk injuring me, but knowing that he can do this with uh, uh, control and care and being confident in his ability to adjust his level of control and contact to suit me. That is a gift, that is generosity. And this is the thing about sparring is that you can see so much giving in it if it's done right. Tyson lets me pull dirty moves because he knows that's what I'm training for. I'm not training to be a sport fighter. I'm training to be an unsportsmanlike fighter. So you'll see me do light rabbit punches to the back of his head, but very carefully, right? I'm not going to hit him hard back there because they're illegal for a reason. You'll also see me throwing the occasional hammer fist and doing some stuff that you wouldn't really do in, uh, in the boxing ring. But that's because he understands my goals and he is being very generous. I just want to say, like, I appreciate that so much because, you know, I'm an old geezer. I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to do this into my 60s, but I can't do it with just anybody. I have to have immense trust to the, for the person I'm sparring with. And I have that with Tyson and a few others of my fighters. But when a fighter will let you do this kind of stuff, it is truly a gift. Let's just get one thing straight. I'm 57 years old. If a ring fighter in their prime can't beat me, they probably shouldn't be stepping in the ring. So Tyson, if we were fighting, it would be probably a three second fight and I'd be asleep. Thanks for being so nice to me, Tyson.